I'm Ming Jen. I teach 18 children ages 3 to 5 with two other team members. They both landed in. Good job. Dan and Polly. You got it. In our classroom, we are exploring ramps. The best way for young children to learn science is through hands-on exploration. Can you tell me what's happening here? But to make the most of these experiences, they need to document what they are doing and reflect on what they have learned. And why do you not use the big ball? Because I'm sure it's not going to move. We are documenting our rim exploration by writing down the children's observations. I put a marble down and did a loop -de -de. Making charts, drawing pictures, and taking photographs and video. All right, on your mark, get set, go. Now, what does rolling mean? When I say things roll. One of our first activities was investigating how objects move when placed on a ramp. If you think the object is going to slide, and that's where we're going to put it, okay? At circle time, we introduced the activity and explained that we would be testing and sorting objects into groups. Now, do you think this is going to go rolling down, sliding down, or stay still? Sliding down. You think sliding down? You want to try it? Come. Love what happened to the sponge. Did it move? No. no. Did it slide? No. Give it a little push as well. Give it a little push. Let's see what happens. Wait, it moved and then what happened? Stop. All right. So where should that go? Roll, slide, or stay still? Stay still. Stay still. To make a more permanent record of our results, we created a chart with simple words and pictures. Okay. Whoa! Oh my goodness! How did that happen? We then moved to our learning centers so we could continue our RAM exploration in small groups with different activities. Ready, set, go! Because the children are constantly changing their designs and building different ramps, we take photographs and video to remember what we did. Nick didn't knock any down! You didn't knock any down? Let's try a different ball. We then reflect on the photos with the children and write down their words. Because I noticed something. I noticed your dolphin is on the rim. Everything else is on the rug. What happened? Everything else rolled. Everything else rolled. And what happened to the dolphin? He stayed. Let me ask you, why did the dolphin stay on the rim? The dolphin didn't have wheels. The dolphin didn't have wheels. What do you think it would happen if we give dolphin and the frog some wheels? They will roll down. They will roll down. This process of reflection really reinforces their learning. Now, I also noticed there's a golf ball. Did you also try with a golf ball? Uh -uh. You didn't? How come? It wouldn't fit through the hole. It also communicates to them that we care about what they are doing and thinking. Good job. We'll also have our kids document their experiences with drawings. One of my students was so excited when he was able to angle blocks to get a golf ball into a cup. Drawing it out later helped him to really think about how he made it work. I made the ball go different angles by changing the block, and I made it go into the cup. I love it. I love it too. Right now, we are going to test out all different kinds of ball to see which one will knock down the building. Having documentation is such a critical part of our science exploration. By challenging the children to make predictions and recording them, we're able to have conversations about why they think certain things will happen. Mine's going to knock down the whole building. And what makes you predict that? Because mine's bigger. Your is bigger than what? Than the other ones. Go! Oh. The documentation then allows us to follow up and discuss our predictions. Not a ball knocked over a block yet. 
So far, what do we knocked over? We knocked over tubes and cups, cups right? And, and I bottles. Made this block. That was all we knocked over. Kylie, do you think you can knock over the blocks? Yeah? Yes. No. Go. And that reflection really deepens the experience wow. for all of us. Astrid was the winner. Astrid, the golf ball actually knocked the most. Oopsie. The more we help children document and reflect on their own experiences, the deeper their thinking becomes. Oh, I know what the problem is. This is not high enough. And this makes their learning more meaningful and fun as well.